don't lay down with any boy in his soft boy era. Don't lay down with anything more feminine than you. All right, and some of these guys in the comments are definitely more feminine than a lot of ladies in this chat. So we're feminine. The guys that don't want it, that are about to drizzle, drizzle, move in the soft guy era, we are feminine. We're dusty. We're broke. That's exactly what she's saying about us, fellas. Okay. Don't lay down with Because they're definitely in the closet. Oh my, we're the in the closet. closet. Trash ass weird. You know what's great about him is his preference. So when I say you dating the soft boy era, I'm not homophobic at all. I'm dustophobic. See, Shira, I don't know what's more dusty. You having your cash app on your videos to take money from your followers and your fans, or you telling young women in high school to use young men with rich parents for money. Roll the clip. Uh-oh. Go to the rich neighborhoods where the teens have rich parents that spoil them and give them money. Go to the parks over there. Go walk your dog. If you got a dog over there, go jogging over there. Go go to the um, games at the rich high schools. Okay? <laughs> Meet you a rich nerdy guy or a rich teen guy with rich parents that has a nice car that can spoil you and buy you what you want. It's right, it's right. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear that she is telling young women in high school to finesse kids with rich parents so they can buy her whatever she wants? This is how it starts. You're starting at an adolescent level, teaching girls how to finesse their parents, then teaching young women how to finesse guys. See how all this is about the sprinkle, sprinkle movement, the whole sprinkle, sprinkle movement, the, 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 the advice that a lot of these women are really giving out is really about how to finesse nest men out of their money that's really what it's about and the drizzle drizzle movement is a counteractive to that it's saying look uh we are not being the ones that's going to be finessed no more guys are starting to wake up guys are taking your same talking points and taking it right back at you but you can't stand it you calling us dusty you calling us broke we're in the closet things like that but yet yeah, you're teaching women young girls high school girls how to finesse people okay i don't know what's more dusty and evil I just don't know. You're training young women to use men for money. These are little girls, and you're training them to use men for money. That's weird, right? And this is why the soft guy era exists. Yes. So we can be slut phobic. So we can dodge women like you. And you're mad because we're stopping it and we're making men raise their standards to not be used. So please get it together. You're miserable. Really agitates me. Like, I'm not even kidding. I hate. Like, I'm not going to text you first. I'm sorry. Like, if you're a guy, I'm not going to be texting you in the morning. Like, good morning. No. You need to text me good morning, good night, how was your day, and I'll respond to you. You're waiting for me to message you in the morning. You don't text me because of that. Or you don't text me first because you're, like, waiting for me to text you. We're just literally not going to talk anymore because I'm not going to text you first. I'm sorry. I just, I like to be courted. I like to feel pursued. I am a woman. I'm old school. I'm traditional. I like to feel thinking of me, feeling. And then, trust me, when you message me, I'm going to be like, hey, how are you? I'm doing good, too. Blah, 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 blah. I had this guy, and we were, like, texting whatever. This one day, he just didn't text me in the morning, good morning. And we went, like, two days without texting because <laughs> I don't care and I was already at the point where like we're just never gonna talk again because I'm not texting him and he's probably like well she ain't texting me either he goes I haven't heard from me I'm like well you haven't texted me I know but you never texted me either so okay we just won't talk ever again he goes you could text me you didn't text me okay well um you're not a delicate little flower that needs to be treated like a little princess. That is such a turnoff. Like, it's kind of like, well, I paid the tab yesterday. Aren't you going to pay the tab? Why should I have to pay the tab? No. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That seems kind of childish to me. So a man initiates conversation. A man initiates the date. man probably pays for the first date. And even after that, he's initiating conversations day after day. And the one day that he does not initiate a conversation, you just kind of just go radio silent because you don't want to talk to him because he's not initiating conversation. That seems kind of childish to me. If you are interested in somebody, then just come out and have a conversation, initiate something. And then be upset if he does not respond. The thing that I feel that some men are overlooking with their whole drizzle drizzle movement is that you had to have brought something to the table in order to effectively threaten women to take that thing away. When you say things like, because we're not going to give you guys babies, for some women, being impregnated by you is a serious threat. When you say you're not going to marry women. Did y'all hear that? She said for some women being impregnated by you is a serious threat. Uh, I'm sorry, you picked him. 
You chose to open your legs to him. You chose to let him come in on raw dog. You chose to carry that child to full term. So if you chose to have a baby by a man who is a threat to you, that is mostly on you, ladies. You control access to sex. You control access who you let in your body. You control access who gets born in this country, in this world, at least. So if you are with a man who is a threat, then you should not have opened your legs for him. For some women who know that being married to some men means nothing but unpaid labor, unappreciated labor, that it means that you're gonna weaponize your incompetence, they don't see that as exciting either. When you say that you're not gonna pay all the bills, now how many of you are really paying all the bills? And Do y'all hear this misandry coming out of her mouth? Do you really think that she has uh, talks to men in good faith? Do you really think that she has a disdain for men? She may not come out and say it, but do you hear this attitude in her voice? Talking about being a man is, is he would... Uh, invalidate your intelligence he uh he would you would have unpaid labor unappreciated labor i'm sorry isn't this the same labor that you were doing for yourself already when it comes to uh washing dishes when it comes to doing laundry when it comes to cooking and all that kind of stuff you know if you are marrying a man who does not appreciate that guess what again you picked him you picked that man to marry nobody you know forced you to marry this man this is not a, a, a marriage that your parents set up or something you chose to marry that man and the alternative that you all offer is because if you don't take one of us and accept us as we are you're gonna have to die alone have to get you a pet have you seen how some of these women treat their pets have you seen the steaks? Have you seen the, the skincare routine and the massage? Have you seen how these women treat their pets? And that's the problem. Y'all treat y'all pets better than you treat a man. A cat ain't going to keep you uh, warm at night. A cat ain't going to get up and if there's a bump in the night. A cat ain't going to do nothing. A dog ain't going to do nothing for you. Because guess what? When your tire gets flat, when you need somebody to come protect you, when you need somebody to uh, respond to an emergency, when you need an emergency contact, you're going to put your dog on that list? You're going to put your cat on that list? Hell no. You want to put your husband on that list. When COVID was going on and all these women out here, these single women was going to the store and fighting for toilet paper and fighting for paper towels and cleaning products they were most likely single because if they had a man that man would go out there and he would go fight the world to bring some resources back home to his family that's what a man is going to do so you talking about how, how do you see how women treat their pets well maybe that's the problem if you treat a man like you treat your doggone pet maybe you would have a man to begin with they love those dogs. Oh, they love those cats. Have you seen their apartments here on TikTok? How well furnished and clean and well kept they are? You're not threatening these women by offering to take off the table something that you never brought to it. So exactly what are you bringing to the table? If you want a man to provide 100% of everything and then talk about, oh, how you see how women treat their dogs and their cats. Well, guess what? When your ass turns 35, turns 40, guess what? You become a single mother, that damn dog, that damn cat, they ain't gonna do nothing but stare at that baby and beg for some food and maybe piss on the floor or something. That's what you got. Got, ladies so don't be mad when a man doesn't want to deal with you you got your single pets in your house you maybe got a child or something and you are lonely by your damn self because you chose not to take a man seriously and um, and don't tell me that all these men are out here dusty musty and crusty because we know good and damn well there are a lot of good men out here but you chose to ignore him because maybe he was born maybe he's five eight maybe he don't make the kind of money that you think he should make maybe you make more than him okay cool but fine don't don't get mad when you're on hit tiktok crying in your 40s and 45 50 talking about how you so lonely and you, you can't find a man out here because men try to deal with you when you are younger but you blew him off time after time after time so for all the men out there who are refusing to evolve refusing to adapt refusing to adjust there's one thing i know for sure you're gonna tap out long before the single women do Men are not going to tap out before single women do because men, we really don't have a clock. 
honestly, you have a lot of women at many different age groups that are much more attractive to men that are older than them. Men are in their 40s, men are in their 50s. So you got men in their 40s and 50s who can get a woman in their 20s and 30s and still pull a woman in her 40s and 50s around the same age. But for women who are in their 40s and 50s, you may be able to get a younger man for a good time, but it ain't going to be for a long time because you don't respect that man. You still want him to be a leader. You still want him to be a provider, even if you're willing to go 50-50. But most women, they don't want to be breadwinners. And most of them, they probably want a man to pay 100% of all the bills. Well, guess what? A young man can't do that. So again, you want an older man, but an older man probably don't want you at your older age because he can get a younger woman who don't have a bunch of attitude, who don't have a bunch of misandry built into it, who don't have uh, all this experience and, and all this kind of boss B kind of stuff. Men don't want that. Men want peace and respectful cooperation. This drizzle drizzle movement is getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. Uh -oh. Against my better judgment, I went on Bumble. I connected with a guy. We were having great conversations. We talked a few times. We made a plan to go out and have lunch. The day of, I'm getting ready. He hits me up and he's like, so I'm in the mood for seafood. Do you like seafood? I'm like, yeah, I like seafood. He's like, okay. Well, then we should go to this restaurant. I don't even remember the name of it because we ain't go. But anyways, we should go to this restaurant. And I know you paying for the lunch. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> no, I know I'm hanging up in your face. Clicky, clicky. Because you got to be a drizzle, drizzle fool. If you think you got to be a whole different level of sassy. To use the word drizzle, I don't give a damn if it's misting outside. If rain again with the sassy, again with the men on the DL. That this is this is their comeback. A, a man that says drizzle drizzle when he's probably joking or maybe he's a little bit serious. Suddenly he's sassy. Suddenly he's in the closet. Suddenly he's broken, dusty. This is all the comeback that they got. Really? Seriously? And who would want to really go out with you anyway? I can hear the attitude in your voice and the way you're cussing and stuff like that. I can hear the attitude. Eventually this is going to come out and the man not going to want to deal with you in the first place because you got all this attitude. We don't want that kind of stuff. We don't want to deal with any kind of attitude it's bad enough we got to go out into the world and deal with the attitude of the world the one thing we don't want to do is when we come home we don't want to deal with round two with the woman laying right next to us with a whole different kind of attitude you know the problem i have with the drizzle drizzle movement is really nothing less attractive in a man than seeing him follow up after other men women want to be with leaders Drizzle Drizzle is not about men following behind other men. Drizzle Drizzle is about men supporting other men, supporting the movement, supporting men not being simps, supporting men who are standing up to these ridiculous standards that women have. That's really what the Drizzle Drizzle movement is about. It's about men coming together as a unit, just like the sisterhood out there comes together all the time against men, and they've been doing it for years, for decades, honestly. Now men are finally using social media to their advantage, and they are sticking up for each other and say, look, we are no longer putting up with this BS. We are no longer putting up this attitude. We are no longer putting up with this ridiculous standards that y'all want from us we don't want to be with no little boys that's following up after other men little boys listening to what the big homie says we want to be with the big homie you know and a lot of these drizzle men you see in the comments is like that's right king that's right that's right it's like it's one y'all copying sisters and you're getting feminine tendencies because of it because as women we like yeah girl again we're getting feminine tendencies we are just flipping the script right back on you but yet we're feminine see you don't like it when we flip the script back on you you want to throw all these ridiculous standards on us but when we flip it back on you oh no we we're feminine we want to be women well maybe if you stopped all the bs we wouldn't have to do this in the first place that's really what the drizzle drizzle movement is about it's about men responding to the ridiculous stuff that women have been saying for years just like the passport bros and passport dudes are responding to the ridiculousness of women in the west for so long guys are flying overseas to go find their wives because they've dealt with women so much in the u.s they are sick and tired of it and they're going somewhere to find their wives so drizzle drizzle just like passport bros is a response to the women of new age hey what's up y'all so you know every time i get on this app 
I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from you men. I don't know any of you all. But now y'all want to start this uh, soft guy era. This drizzle, drizzle movement, right? Listen. Any man that's comfortable with a woman coming out of her purse or her pocket spending money on you, understand is you'll do the same with a man. A lot of these men, ladies, are just down low. They just too insecure to come out the closet. Again, another woman calling a man down low, another woman calling a man sassy, another woman calling a man uh, trying to be a woman just because he is asking for reciprocation. He is asking for a woman to spend even a little bit of money on him. Because guess what, ladies? Y'all fought for the right to have your own money. Y'all fought for the right to have your own business. You fought for the right to, to get your own jobs, to buy your own houses, to do your own thing, and got no problem with it. Got no problem with it whatsoever. Go do you. And some of y'all doing very well for yourselves. But the fact that you still want a man to come in and pay 100% of everything, no matter what your financial status is, but yet you continue to get your own money. So your money is your money, and his money is your money. So to men that seems kind of selfish because we're like okay you are making money you are doing very well for yourselves i might be doing the same to, as well i might be making the same amount of money that you are but yet you feel like you're too good to spend any of your money on me but i'm still supposed to spend all of my money on you in addition to pay for everything so what do you bring to the table again you know because this whole movement is perpetuated by them not really being you know for them being in their feminine energy for them not wanting to be a lead with masculine energy because when you're in your masculine energy there comes responsibility you don't want the responsibility so you want to go in your female energy your feminine energy talking about you want to live a soft life you a man and how many women has said men are toxic, Mask toxic masculinity and the patriarchy and all this other kind of stuff. But now we are just flipping the script right back on you and making some satire about soft guy era drizzle drizzle. But yet now we're sassy. Now we're down low. Now we are we're feminine. We want to be women. <laughs> See how that argument is, is kind of weird. But a lot of you males don't really want the responsibility. So now you want to flip it and try to gaslight women into believing that they supposed to pay your way. Understand it's the same thing that these men are trying to get women to do for them. They will allow a man to do it for the right price. No, you jizzle jizzle men are actually being dead serious. You're not making a mockery of any sprinkle sprinkle gals. You're simply projecting, right? Because sprinkle sprinkle gals we're not we don't have to make anything up we can just live the experience and then talk about it because it is a reality for us in our dating experience right because what is the reality for you by telling women to finesse men out of their money what 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 is that that, that is, is you don't really understand what the sprinkle sprinkle movement is really about we don't seek men the men seek us and we pick and choose which man is worthy of being with us. Worthy. This woman is literally panicking about her justification for Sprinkle Sprinkle being demolished by Drizzle Drizzle. And it is hilarious to watch because Drizzle Drizzle is literally men flipping the script. I have seen videos where men are literally taking a woman's video and saying the same exact thing. But there's And that's what they can't stand. They can't stand the fact that men are flipping the script, using the same talking. Where do you think we got this from, ladies? We didn't just make this up out of thin air. We just didn't, didn't come out saying if, if she if she wanted to, she would. You know, it's giving broke. Uh you're, you're dusty, you're you're you know, you're in the closet, things like that. This is what women are saying and have been saying saying about men for years so now men are just taking the same thing and flipping it right back on you but you can't stand it you don't even see that it's satire there's so many women that are still refusing to see it ladies these men are flipping the script in order for you to see it to open your eyes for you to realize that the things that you have been expecting of men have been outrageous outrageous and utterly ridiculous Soft guy era this, soft guy era that. We made it to Fox News. Uh-oh. New social media trend tells men to enter the soft guy era. Being a provider is a scam.
Garth Bay Smart said, we all know being a provider in 2024 is a scam, so we don't care. We're not doing that anymore. We know that's old fashioned and these women get money now and these women are working. They need to contribute. Lil Goody said, the soft guy era movement is about promoting partnership. Yep. You're telling me you're a grown woman and you're my woman and you can't put up 50% on the bills? You're broke and you're lazy. That's a fact. Yeah, we can get happy, but the job ain't done. You're up to a... This I'm not part. finished. Are you not happy or... You're only half happy or... Should be happy about... Right. You're up to a... Job's not finished. Job finished? Mm -hmm. Nope. I can't crack a smile until the job is finished. We got a lot of work to do. The soft guy era, this is just the beginning. This is an era. This is a dynasty and we only up to a... We can't celebrate until we win the prize. See, this is only the first month. Y'all out here sleeping. This is bigger than what y'all think it is. It's still a lot of men out here getting finessed, falling for the old okie doke manipulation tactics, getting shamed into being a provider. We yep. know that's a scam, and we have to help these brothers out. See, you're not a real man unless you're paying all the bills and paying for my lifestyle. See, these men are out here getting finessed. They're letting broke women tell them what to do. How dare you let a broke woman tell you what to do? These men's egos are so fragile, they'll let a woman finesse them and manipulate them into being a provider. AKA a sugar daddy. Moral of the story is we're done dealing with broke women and the merchant drops make that. Y'all tell so what he's saying is it's a it's a scam to be a hundred percent provider. And think about this for a second. Think about the men who have been a hundred percent providers in the past. What has happened to them? They have had a woman who is a stay at home wife. Maybe she's a stay at home wife for five, 10, 20 years, maybe after the kids get out of college. And what does she ultimately do 80% of the time? She files for divorce and she takes alimony. She takes child support. She takes the house and she takes half of his money too so she is incentivized to 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 file for divorce honestly if you have women who have their own money they they believe in prenups much more because they have something to lose too anyway what y'all think about these videos today did i get anything right did i get anything wrong what do y'all think about these women out here being so mad and upset about the uh drizzle drizzle soft guy era movement because it seemed like they all got the same talking points it seemed like men are dusty men are broke and mostly men are sassy out here because we're using the same talking points that women have been saying for years and throwing it right back at them let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below make sure you like share subscribe to the channel i'll catch you on the next one peace